the whole thing started off, they think, about a year ago. And it just progressed. I just started getting weaker and weaker and weaker. And I was using the VA for all of my stuff. They checked his diabetes. They, um, they took care of it. They checked his feet because of his diabetes. Um, he was seeing pulmonary for COPD. Just the typical VA. But just like routine. Yeah. And they said that we were doing all the right things at that time. But it got worse and worse and worse. And then I started getting pains. And then when this all came up, we did a scan. And they said, uh, we think you have pneumonia, but we're not sure. And then the pain got worse, especially right here. We went to Aurora Kenosha because of the pain. That was the main reason. And I, we went into the emergency room. And this doctor came in, he started going, he's checking everything, and we had brought all the reports with us. Okay, so he had that to look at. And he came in and he said, we're admitting you immediately. All of a sudden they said, okay, let's go. Take me upstairs to the second floor, put me right in this room. And was and started working on his pain control. That was the biggest. Immediately. Was like, yeah. he, we, he had pain medication because he's had lower back issues and and he was told to increase that which he did it didn't work it didn't help I mean he was well there was something much more serious going and, on right? and like I said I was becoming more and more frantic because I knew there was something wrong and they recognized what it was. It. Yeah. and they that's that's why they admitted him was for pain control to get a handle on the pain and then we also had the reports from the other CTs from um, Alexian Brothers which probably helped the whole. And they could, and he, the 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 physician in the emergency room read that, and kind of swallowed have to wait for that, and, for this, and looked at us and said, CD. "Okay, there's a real reason why we need to get you in here for your pain control." Yeah. I mean, and the and my pain control was being done by Doctor Stack, Tim Stack, who's an Aurora doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, for your lower back. For my lower back. So they had the record of that too, and what I was taking and why I was taking it. The guess, the initial guess on what was wrong with, with the bone, what these lesions were in his bone, was maybe multiple myeloma. Um, and so you have to start thinking about, well, where is it and what is this? So it was a matter of, we didn't have, a, he didn't have a primary care physician at Aurora at the time. Mm -hmm. So it was finding a primary care physician there who stepped right in, and I, it, they were fabulous. Mom he was there now. at spring break, mm -hmm. and, and so we saw everybody's substitute. Yeah, everybody's good. Everybody, everything, every doctor. We saw this sub, and then this guy, and then that guy. But you know what I have to say? And every single one of them, no matter whether it was primary or sub, was the same top-notch quality. The same, hmm. Not a okay, well, okay, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be back later. None you of know, that. none of that. You know what I know? We, we, that every doctor, and like I said, we saw the sub from three that comes in once every three weeks for the oncology. I mean, he was there 12 days, and so there were a lot of people in and out, and like I said, it was spring break. Um, every doctor that came in, actually, even the nurses, but every doctor who came in had read his history. They had read his chart. They knew, knew what was going on. What had been done, what was being considered, what questions to ask. That's huge. Yeah, they're not standing there asking the same questions. But the nurses were the same way. Yeah. We've yeah, we got a term that, that we have used. What's, what's, the, term? Have used. what's the, the term? The term is we have yet to find the weak link. Yeah. Of all the stuff that we have gone through at Kenosha, we have not found the first person who we kind of go, eh? We're talking about from the bottom uh, nursing assistant to all the way up for the room, not the... The people who... Every single... The, the nurses, the, yeah. the, the hucks, the, the nurses, the physicians, the PAs, from every person that we've Everybody. met. There care. hasn't been anyone. I said it's like, oh, this is health care, not health care. It's health care. I have been a guest at a couple of the hospitals in Lake, in Lake County. County. Mm -hmm. I got better in spite of them, not because of them, by their admission.
Okay, they told me that when I wrote and said, look guys, you didn't help me at all. So I actually have, I have had first-hand experience. This was phenomenal. Wow. I, I just, I can't, my mother was a patient in some of the hospitals here. Um, she was tied to her bed. I'd asked the nurse after she'd been on duty for three or four hours, as I approached her, I said, you know, this is my mother, could you tell me how she's doing today? And the nurse would look at me and say, who? I only came out at three o'clock, it's only six o'clock, I don't know. And that's not the case at Aurora. At Aurora, there's enough nursing staff to actually care for the patients. And that's huge. That's enormous. You don't have to wait an hour because you When I you pushed the, the button bell. because I needed, I needed help to get up to go to the bathroom, when I pushed the button, boom, can I help you? We'll be right there. I think the longest I ever waited was maybe two minutes. Somebody well, came. Yeah. And you know what? And he was in there for 12 days. That's a long not, time. Not, That's a long time. Man. Not one week link. 